What's going on YouTube? It's Anthony from CompSize Studio and welcome back to your sixth Java Advanced tutorial. So um, today we're just going to be polishing off enums and we're not going to be looking at them again in our advanced series. Um, we might get to them again when we are using, when we're making games and stuff. We might be implementing some type of power system like this, but um, that's for a later tutorial. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to actually assign a numerical value, um, a string value, a boolean value, whatever you want to the corresponding variable that we create within our enum. So in this case we would want strong to indicate um, a bigger number than moderate which is a bigger number than weak. So for strong let's say we give it a value of 3. So to assign values we're gonna be getting an error just for a little bit but I'll clear that up after so just bear with me you guys are gonna get errors but to assign a value we're gonna be basically making a constructor. Let me just do it this way. Let's make the constructor first. So the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to need to make a temporary variable to hold the strength of our um, of each value in our enum. So we're going to make an int strength variable. So this is just a temporary strength variable that we're going to be declaring. And then the next thing we're going to do is basically create a constructor for our enum. Now I know this is all kind of confusing, but in the end, um, it's going to make sense. And when you create an enum, this is basically the stencil that you you will use for every single enum you create. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, basically create a way to assign values to each um, variable within our enum. So to do this, all we have to do is we're going to create a private constructor, and we're gonna, since it's a constructor, it takes the value of the it takes the name of the enum, so we're going to create private power. And since we're assigning it a integer value, we're going to use in our parameters int i. And then we're going to put down our curly braces. And then within our power constructor, we're going to be setting our strength variable, our temporary strength variable, to the value that is passed in um, for i. So we're going to go strength. Oh man, I can't type strength is equal to i. I still can't spell it. Let's just copy and paste that and everything will be good. Alright, so now that we have this, we're actually allowed to put brackets beside here. We could put in a value of 3. We can put in a value here of 2 and a value of 1. So we could put in whatever value we want since we basically prototyped each variable within our enum um, to accept a parameter of an integer. So now we need a way to actually um, access the value of each variable within the enum in our main method. I know that's kind of confusing, but once we finish it all, it'll all make sense. So let's create another method, and this is going to be a getter method to basically get the actual value that we put in here. So we would get the value of 3, 2, or 1. So to do this, we would just go public, since we want to be able to access it from anywhere within our code. Um, and we're going to make it a return type of int since we're going to be getting an actual integer value and we'll name it um, get power and put down our curly braces and then finally we're going to be returning the strength variable that we um, basically assigned so we're going to go return strength since we want to get the actual strength of the power all right, so now if we run this, we should get nothing. Just run it, make sure. Since there's nothing in our main method printing anything out, we're not going to get anything. So say we wanted, like right over here, we've already assigned player one to a value of weak. Now say we wanted to actually find out what the um, numerical value of weak is, we could just go s out player one dot get power. So right down here, it found our method that we can now use. So player one dot get power, and let's put a little prompt here. The strength of the player is one. Should pop out. Whoa! Oh, I forgot my plus sign. Don't forget your plus signs. So run it again. Hopefully we don't get an error. And the strength of the player is one. So, we basically used our get power um, 
method that we created within our enum to access the value of um, weak. Since we set player one to weak, it goes into the enum. Okay, we know it's weak, so we're gonna go to weak. Oh, guess what? Weak has a value of one. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, feel free to message me. Um, send me an email, send me an inbox, whatever you guys want. Um, if you guys have any questions, send me an email. So um, yeah, thanks for watching and comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.